Your mailbox and emails are probably getting bombarded with all kinds of information from various Medicare plans around the country. And quite frankly, it's a bit overwhelming. And annoying. So that's why we created this video to help you know there's only one packet to pay attention to and how this packet applies not to just one open enrollment, but to the upcoming two Medicare open enrollments. Two. Yes, two. So pay attention. Mm. Hi, I'm Ann. And I'm Kai. And our goal is to help you retire healthy and wealthy. So let's talk about the two open enrollment periods first, so you can better understand this packet here. Now, October 15th to December 7th is called AEP. And January 1st to March 31st is called MAOEP. AEP only applies to switching or enrolling into the following. Original Medicare to a Medicare Advantage plan, or Medicare Advantage back to Original Medicare. Medicare Advantage to Medicare Advantage. A standalone prescription drug plan to another standalone prescription drug plan. Now, for those with a Medigap supplement plan, AEP does not apply to you. Those plans have a one-time only open enrollment, not yearly. Yes, this is when we are either turning 65 or new to Part B. So keep in mind, if you disenroll from a Medicare Advantage plan and want to return back to Original Medicare, you will not be automatically accepted by the Medigap supplement plan. You must answer health questions or find a special event. So to give the viewers an example, since your mom has an Advantage plan, mm -hmm. she's not guaranteed into a supplement plan unless she can pass the health questions or have a special event. That's right. Now, an important side point is if you switch to a Medicare Advantage plan, you need to know that you forfeit your original Medicare plan, meaning you will no longer be covered by Medicare. Like my mom, she still pays Medicare, but the Medicare Advantage plan replaces her original Medicare plan, meaning she has to follow the rules of the insurance company and she's no longer covered by Medicare. Okay, now let's talk about MAOEP. This period applies only to the following changing your Medicare Advantage to another Medicare Advantage. Yes, please note that she mentioned the word changing, not enrolling. Therefore, you must already have a Medicare Advantage plan. January 1st to March does not allow you to go into a Medicare Advantage plan. Right. Besides changing your Advantage plan, you can drop your Medicare Advantage and return back to original Medicare. But a requirement is that you must enroll in a standalone prescription drug plan. And during this time period, you cannot change your drug plan. Again, those with a Medicare supplement plan and or a drug plan itself, the MAOEP does not apply to you. So before discussing what's in this packet, you must make sure you understand that during those periods, the federal agency, Medicare, will never call you to discuss the new 2024 plans. Any phone calls you get are agents trying to sell you their plan. Also, Medicare made it illegal for agents to call you without your permission to discuss Medicare Advantage or drug plans. So hang up if someone tries to call you regarding Medicare. Of course, unless it's your agent updating you on your plan. Now, to be clear, for those of you who are new to Medicare or working past 65, you won't be using these two open enrollments. Rather, you will be using what's called an initial election period, IEP, a special election period, SEP, or a general election period, GEP. So what's inside this packet that you need to pay attention to? It'll have this acronym called ANOC. Yes, your annual notice of change. Remember, there's no ANOC for your Medigap plan since those plans do not change their coverage every year. They actually never change. They will also never change your network of doctors and hospitals since Medicare is your primary. This ANOC only has to do with your Medicare Advantage or standalone prescription drug plan. And this ANOC packet is mailed to you in September and it's very easy to throw it away <laughs> thinking it's junk mail or not read it because you know that you want to keep the same plan for next year. And if you did throw it away or cannot find it, then you need to call them, the insurance company, and request a new packet. What are some changes to look out for? Here's a list. Your monthly premium, deductible, co-pays, drugs that are covered and no longer covered, the network of doctors and hospitals, the extra perks like dental, vision, gym membership coverages, and so forth. Yes, look them over carefully. 
please do not ignore this even if you don't plan on switching. If you find out next year that you don't like something that changed, it'll be too late and you'll be stuck with that plan for the entire year, especially if it's your drug plan. Now, we just discussed what to expect in this packet and what plans the two open enrollment periods are for. But what if you're happy with your ANOC? What should you do? Nothing. Just stay with your plan. In some cases, it might be good for you to compare, but in most cases, you'll create more headache for yourself. While the perks advertised may seem appealing, it's important to remember that marketing materials tend to emphasize the positives of the plan only. Mm -hmm. Whether or not your doctors are on the plan is never highlighted in the brochures. But what if you're not happy with your current plan? How do you switch? Well, before we answer that, if you have found value so far, please help our channel grow by clicking that like button and subscribing to our channel. Not only does this let YouTube's algorithm know to share this video with others, but you'll also be notified of all income and health related updates. So if changing from an Advantage plan to a Medigap is your goal, you must apply as early as possible. Medicare.gov is great to compare Medicare Advantage plans, but not Medigaps. Call us if you want to compare. A word of caution though, you most likely will not have a guaranteed acceptance as we discussed earlier. So you want to be sure that the Medigap plan accepts your application before you cancel your Advantage plan. The most important information is never cancel a policy just because of a quote. It's best to wait until you have the final plan approved before you cancel your current coverage. Oh, and do not enroll in a Part D drug plan. Otherwise, that will automatically cancel your Medicare Advantage plan in most cases. That's right. Thanks, Anne. How about if you want to switch from a Medicare Advantage to another Medicare Advantage plan? Well, remember we mentioned all of these Medicare mailers you're getting? Well, be careful. Most of these are going to be marketing brochures highlighting what they know will catch your eye. We recommend looking at Medicare.gov to see all the plans side by side without having any marketing bias. After you like what you see, then go to the plan's website to get more details. However, we recommend you not enroll on your own. Why? Regardless if you have a PhD or you, you're you used to shopping and buying things on your own, there are a few hidden dangers to doing this without a professional guidance. And if you're a DIY person, you know, a do-it-yourself person, I get it. I like to research things on my own as well. Plus, you might be the type who wants to learn and save money. But in shopping for insurance, you can still learn with the help of an agent. And best of all, there's no cost savings to you, whether you go do it yourself or go through an agent. So what are the dangers of shopping without the guidance of a licensed agent? But what are the dangers of using an agent too, though, right? Right. Well, let's first discuss the dangers of shopping a plan without the guidance of a licensed agent. One, Medicare.gov or 1-800-MEDICARE will never have anyone licensed with the plan or have direct experience with the plan. So all they can do is educate you on what you and the customer service representative sees on the screen. Two, what you see on the plan's website might not always be what it turns out to be. For example, you might see that your doctor is on the network. However, later you find out that the website was wrong. What's even worse is that on paper the webs or the website, the plan looks great, but then you have no idea how difficult it is to work with that plan. Remember, it's not like buying something on Amazon where you can just return it in 30 days right. if you don't like it. This is a plan that you will be stuck with for the entire year. And if you do things yourself like plumbing or handyman work and you mess up like I've done many times, you can usually redo it or call a professional to help you fix it. When it comes to these Medicare plans, though, if you mess up, you cannot change it for the entire year. Whereas mentioned above with the rules, you might never be able to return to your previous plan. And no agent can override these rules or fix it if it's too late. That's right. Thanks for mentioning that. Again, you can call Medicare or the plan directly, but we recommend getting professional help to guide you. A good agent will guide you rather than try to sell you. Remember, if you switch to a different Medicare Advantage plan just to get lower premiums or some extra perks like dental and so, so forth, you might have to change your doctors and hospitals. Most importantly, some plans that look good on paper might mm -hmm. make it very difficult for you to get the care that you need. Now, when calling agents, there are also dangers you need to be aware of. So what should you expect? Be careful of all the agents that simply focus on a few highlights of the plan, but fail to disclose all the facts. 
It's like a car salesman showing you how nice the car looks, but fails to tell you there's a leak in the oil pan. Now, we get it. No one likes the sales pressure either. We know many insurance agents often care more about their commission than you and your coverage. Yes, we know we are agents too, so we are not saying all agents are bad, but you should be aware of the three types of agents you will be talking to and how that affects you. However, regardless of who you call, the price and benefits of these plans will be exactly the same. So let's now discuss the three types of agents you'll be talking to. There are captive agents, career agents, and broker agents. Captive agents can only sell the plan or company they are licensed with. They cannot talk about other plans or sell you other plans. This is where you feel the biggest push or sales pressure. That's right. Career agents are allowed to sell other plans, but they must first push the company they're contracted under, and then they can discuss other plans. Broker agents are independent and can sell many different companies. Typically, they are less pushy. However, just because they are independent does not mean they won't push one over the other. Look for agents that voluntarily compare other companies and openly discuss the pros and cons. But even the nicest brokers are only allowed to sell the plans they are contracted with. It's a lot of work to contract with each plan, and these agents must recertify every single year. So it's not easy to find brokers that have more than five to 10 plans. Here at KCIS, we represent over 50 different plans and can assist you in all 50 states. Our goal is to be completely transparent with you and discuss the rules of changing and the consequences of changing and to ensure that it's in your best interest rather than us trying to make a commission. For example, if you're on a Medicare supplement plan or a Medigap plan and you're happy with it, don't switch. If you do switch, remember you cannot go back to a Medigap without those two conditions. One is health underwriting and two is a special event like moving outside your coverage area. If you're unhappy with your supplement plan, it's usually because you don't want to pay the higher premiums. But please think twice before you get baited into switching. To help you be more confident in your decision, we made an updated video here where we battle back and forth between which mothers made a better decision. Yes, and this is an updated video to the first one that we created. Or click here to know the changes for this coming year and 2025 for your Part D drug plan. Remember to help us out by clicking the like button and subscribing so that the YouTube robots will automatically show this video to others.